What's up everyone, it's your boy NoranRad89 here bringing another rad movie review. Today we're going to be talking about Little Things. It's on HBO Max. I finally caught it. It's starring Denzel Washington, Jared Leto, and Rami Malek. Let's find out about it. This is going to be a non-spoiler review. Roll it. So, Little Things is a new crime thriller drama starring Denzel, Rami Malek, and Jared Leto. And it's definitely a film that I would I would say it's hard to recommend this film. But uh, I'm going to get into the positives. We'll start with the positives first. And then I'll, we'll see if you want to check it out. So the key positive for me, definitely the number one positive for sure, is going to be Denzel Washington, Jared Leto, and Rami Malek, like all three of them. The characters, they're such good actors that no matter what roles you sink them into, they just do such a good job of developing that type of character in their minds and they create it. You know what I mean? Like I can see a director talking to them, just giving them the gist of a character. They read the script and they totally develop their own frame of mind for that character. That's how good all three of them are so that's definitely the best aspect of this film another thing i can say is it definitely has some really good music i thought the music and the soundtrack score to it was really good and like kind of developing a little bit of tension and all that kind of stuff and just the moments of like key scenes like i think it did set the motion and like that atmosphere that you really wanted in this kind of film another thing that i did like is the writing is really good the writing is something that you do pay attention to the scenes. They do matter and like the stuff that the characters are saying is very unique to their style. It definitely feels like the writer cared about these characters and you can get that feel from all the actors when they're speaking their lines and all that kind of stuff. Even some of the side characters, they do a really good job of kind of adding something to the story and not pulling away from it. So let's get down to talking about some of the negatives for this film. <laughs> And my main negative right off the bat for me is just this this film is going to get it's going to be one of those crime thriller films that just gets lost in the bunch. I can tell you that for right now because like there's certain films like this like Seven, be it Zodiac or Along Came a Spider. There's a lot of films like this even Insomnia. So like it just this one will get lost in the bunch because it's just very B mediocre in terms of where the story takes us and how emotionally impact it doesn't have that for me like some of those other films when i watch those crime thriller films they have an emotional impact you care about the characters or you're driven to watch the cops catch this killer and all this kind of stuff and in this one it's just very b movie type you know what i mean like if it really wasn't for denzel or rami or jared leto this would really be like kind of just a mediocre film. I really wanted to enjoy this film because it's got such a high rating and a lot of people talked really good about it and it just, it didn't pull me in because I felt like the story didn't really go anywhere. And in terms of like action stuff or stuff happening in the film, there's really a lot of driving scenes in this film and it's just like talking or it's people watching, you know what I mean, or spying on people. Like it's not there's not a lot of stuff going on in this film. Like you really have to be into the dialogue or into the story to really be attached to this because there's not a lot of other stuff going on. So that's what kind of sucked for me is like I really wanted to enjoy this film more than I did. And that's why I'm like I find it hard to recommend because like it, you, you want to watch it to see Denzel, Rami, and Jared Leto. Like they always do such a good job. If you're a fan of either one of those actors, you're gonna wanna see this film because you wanna see what they can offer and you know check out their catalog at, all the time. But in terms of story and being a crime thriller film, I wouldn't really recommend this because it's just, like I said, one that's going to be lost in the jumble. Like, I'll return to this film maybe when I forget some things about it years from now. But in terms of, like, you know, returning to it soon, I'm not going to rewatch it, like, that often, anything like that. So 
let's get down to the actual rad rating score for this film and my rad rating it's gonna be a six out of ten so it is above average film like i said and mainly because of the acting and the character development between them and like our chemistry between the actors on screen like that really elevates at another point but the story is definitely something i desired more from it i wanted to be connected to it more and it have a more of an emotional punch Thanks for sticking around with me, y'all. I hope you enjoy this rad movie review. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel and share to all your friends. You know, spread the rad rating and the rad movie reviews and all that kind of stuff so we can get some more people on the channel. I would definitely appreciate that. Have a safe and happy day, everyone. Peace out.